the first rule in investment is don't lose. And the second rule in investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. I mean, that uh, if you buy things for far below what they're worth, and you buy a group of them, you basically don't lose money. You need tons of IQ in this business. I mean, you have to have enough IQ to get from here to downtown Omaha, but uh, but uh, you do not have to be able to play three-dimensional chess or, or be in the top leagues in terms of bridge playing or something of the sort. Uh, you need a stable personality. You need a temperament that neither derives great pleasure from being with the crowd or against the crowd, because this is not a business where you take polls. It's a business where you think. And Ben Graham would say that you're not right or wrong because a thousand people agree with you. And you're not right or wrong because a thousand people disagree with you. You're right because your facts and your reasoning Suppose are Suppose somebody's right. watching this and say, I want to be like Mr. Dan Goatee. I want to be a successful businessman in Africa. Uh, what are the attributes, or anywhere, uh, where, what are the attributes that you think you have brought to the table which make you successful? Is it intelligence, hard work, persistence, all of those things? What would you say are the most important attributes? I think the most important one, number one, David, if you are going into any business, you must understand the business A to Z. You must know that business. You shouldn't just go and invest because somebody now will say, okay, hey, you know, there's good money in cement, then you go and jump into cement. You have to understand the business in and out. And that's the difference with me. I know my business in and out. You can wake me up any time and ask me about uh, fertilizer, ask me about anything that we are doing. And the other one is really to work very hard and you have to have the tenacity of continuing to, you know, you have some hiccups here and there, but you have to have, uh, you have to be focused in terms of what you are doing. The intellectual process is, is defining your level, uh, defining your area of competence in valuing businesses, and then within that area of competence, finding whatever sells at the, at, at the cheapest price in relation to value. And there are all kinds of things I'm not competent to value. But what? there are a few that I am competent to value. Have you ever bought a technology company? No, I really haven't. In 30 years of investing, not one? I haven't understood any of them. <laughs> so you haven't ever owned, for example, IBM? Which Never owned IBM. Great, Marvelous great company. company. I mean, it's a sensational company, but I haven't owned IBM. And so here is this uh, technological revolution going on, and you're not going to be it's a participant. gone right past me. <laughs> is that all right with you? It's okay with me. <laughs> well, I, don't have to, I don't have to make money in every game. I mean, I don't know what cocoa beans are going to do. I don't, you know, I, there are all kinds of things I don't know about, and that may be too bad, but, uh, you know, why should I know all about them? I haven't worked that hard on them. In the securities business, you literally every day have thousands of the major American corporations offered to you uh, at a price and a price that changes daily, and you don't have to make any decisions. You have to make, uh, nothing is forced upon you, so you, there are no called strikes in the business. The pitcher just stands there and throws balls at you. If you have a zero-sum mindset, then the only way to get ahead is by taking things from others. Uh, if, if it's like, if, 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 the, if the pie is fixed, then the only way to have more pie is to take someone else's pie. But, but this is false. Like, obviously, the pie has grown dramatically over time, the mm -hmm. economic pie. Um, so, the rea in reality, you can have the <laughs> so overuse this analogy. You can have a, a lot of you can have the, this a lot of pie. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, pie, pie is not fixed. Yes. Um, uh, so you, you really want to make sure you don't you're not operating um, without realizing it from a zero sum mindset. In the securities business, you sit there and they throw uh, U.S. Steel at twenty five, and they throw General Motors at sixty eight, and you don't have to swing at any of them. They may be wonderful pitches to swing at, but if you don't know enough, you don't have to swing. And you can sit there and watch thousands of pitches, and finally you get one right there where you want it, something that you understand, and then you swing.